Are you listening? Damn. All right, listen. New challenge video. Today we got the upside down face challenge. Hey, the Mark Crilly was the first one I saw do this. Listen, Mark Crilly is the goat. You know, I bought his how to draw books and stuff when I was little. I used to watch all his videos. I'm gonna put a link to his video in the description. Anyway, for this challenge, you just basically draw a face and then when you flip the face upside down, it should look like another face. So um, you're just basically drawing two faces on one head. But yeah, y'all saw a couple of seconds ago, I was sketching out some ideas, you know? <laughs> That's all I had. Listen, I didn't really come into this with like a game plan or something. I, I was just going to draw like one of my normal characters in my style. And I was just going to see where it went from there. You know, I, th I had to give my guys some custom glasses. I was just, I was trying to think in my head what it's going to look like when I flip it over. You know, I, I was holding myself back from flipping it over as I was doing the drawing. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that's like part of the rules of this challenge, but... I had to flip it over a couple of times to see what it looked like upside down because I didn't want it to look um, completely bummy at the very end, you know, and I try to go back and fix everything after I probably already inked it and stuff. So I was just trying to avoid that. But yeah, this dude that I drew, he looks like young, right side up, well, youngish. But then when you flip him over, he looks like an old man. You know, you know, I wasn't going for that is what I'm saying. It just like. It just came out like that. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I should have took a day to just like plan this out. Cause I feel like there's a lot more I probably could have did with the upside down flip. I don't know, but I wasn't like too mad with how this one came out. Hold on real quick. Y'all you know, can see my dude right here. Y'all see, he looks like a youngish dude right now. But wait till he flips. Wait, wait. <laughs> tell, tell me he doesn't look like an old man right now with the little strands of hair on his head and the gray beard. I was thinking at a point in the middle of that I was going to have to toss it. But it came through. It, it turned out better. It saved itself from the trash can. It did all right. That was the first that I drew. This one, we had to switch it up a little bit. We had to change gears real quick. I was going for like an Iron Man looking dude. Listen, hey, I just watched Infinity War the other day. Listen, I do Thanos was going crazy in that movie. I ain't, you know, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that didn't see it. But uh, he wasn't playing around. Anyway, I was like a little bit inspired. I wanted to do like a little superhero looking dude. So I was really going for um, a robot. But to make the upside down flip work, I had to put like a human head. On another note, though, this challenge was a lot easier for me. Because the way I draw my cartoons is real simple. I don't add a lot of details to the face. So I just felt like that made it a lot easier for me to do this. Anyway, the little lines on top of his head are supposed to be like wrinkles. And then when I go and flip it over, that's obviously going to be his mouth. Hey, it's pretty, mu it's pretty much the exact same thing I did in the first one. I wish I could have thought of like another way to, once I flipped it over, to make it look like a mouth. I, listen, I wasn't that creative though. I couldn't think of nothing, but um, I don't know. If I do this challenge again, if I end up making like a part two, I'm for sure going to do like a little bit more planning before I come into this. You know, I'm, I'm going to come in with a game plan next time and I'm going to try to do something crazy real quick. But um, for now, real quick, I'm going to put the bold ink on. Hey, I know this is random, but um, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's real satisfying to watch it when people like ink stuff. That's low-key my favorite part of watching other drawing YouTubers when they ink their drawings. I don't know. that I, I might be the only one with that. But um, y'all can pretty much see how this one's coming out. Listen, when I started coloring it, my, my, gray, marker, my gray marker had no health. It was done. I, didn't, I don't even have any of the refills. I, could, I couldn't revive it or anything. So I was a little bit mad because it made it a little bit streaky, but it didn't like completely mess it up. The weird thing I felt like with this second drawing that y'all gonna see in a little bit was I'm not, it looked better when I turned it upside down. I'm not gonna lie, cause I put more attention to it right side up. So I thought for sure it would look better that way. But listen, when I turned it upside down, it, it looked like that was how I initially drew it. I didn't want to flip it back right side up. I didn't think it looked right that way anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, I had a lot of fun with this challenge. 
Once again, I'll link Mark Crilly's video in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out.